All right, guys. So here's our second review for the end of the month. Let's talk about Need for Speed Heat. Um, where to start? Okay. So generally, I'm I love the racing genre. I really do. Um, Need for Speed Heat or Need for Speed in general, let's just say, um, has had some bumps in the road in the series. Uh, I think heat is a good concept. However, it's not fully polished. Uh, essentially, the whole day and night difference, it works great for reputation and earning cash and all that. However, the constant switching that you have to do as you level up is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, on the other end of that, you look at the ability to upgrade and all that. Um, essentially, you start out, you have a choice of four vehicles. Uh, you choose one, and then you start um, going through the paces, doing events during the day, events at night, and hoping you can cash in on some some good points to uh, to go ahead and level up and be able to get access to more vehicle upgrades, right? All well and great. Um, couple problems though. So any upgrade that you do is is minimal, um, at least as it's seen in the stats. So um, you know you potentially will need to spend a lot of time uh, getting leveled up on tracks that you've already completed in order to make sure that you reach that tier of parts to get you above the next level. For instance, um, I think I've, I've played up to level like 14, 15 now. Obviously could be a lot, a lot more. Um, but in that process, I'm at a point where my car is at a 188 rating, right? And all of my current events are 200 and 220. So I can enter those events and get smashed or go to the old events and be able to level up more consistently. Um, but you do have to revisit. So that's the part that, that kind of sucks. Um, the other aspect that's kind of annoying in the game in general is if I'm driving and I'm driving straight down the road. I see a car, truck, whatever, way ahead of me. Could easily finish their turn. This vehicle will turn halfway into the lane and stop. For no reason, just stop. So then you have to maneuver around that vehicle that could have completed its turn. I don't understand why or what the point of that mechanic is other than to really irritate and piss people off as they drive around because there's no reason for that vehicle to stop. It could have easily made the turn and been out of my way as I'm driving 140, 150 miles an hour down the road. So again, something that's annoying. And then if you get off the road at all, it sucks to get back on and it should, but there's instances like that where you'll have somebody turning, they stop in a car right here. You have no choice and it happens often really often, so that's annoying. Um, driving through gas stations to uh, basically fix your vehicle at night is, is a cool idea. Um, you only get to do it three times, which is great because kind of minimizes the, the amount of you being able to just stay out and continue to get all these events done it, without issue. Uh, the cops are very, very persistent. We'll, we'll go with persistent. Um, so at night, it's it's rough. It, it can be rough. Um, 
but then again like again that leveling is is crazy the cars that they give you if you like pre-order the game aren't even leveled to a point that they matter you know what i mean so that that piece kind of sucked um i feel like you know you pre-ordered it but none of them are really going to help you too much i mean you need a you need a certain level to unlock them anyway and most of them you can't really upgrade too much more than they already are. And I noticed like the BMW i8 that's in there, uh, it really, it controls like crap. I'm just being honest. Um, so I think there's there's definitely some, some updates there. And uh, it... I love, I love that they polished a lot of games, but this one just seems like it needs some work. Um, I'll still play it. I will because I bought it, um, and I'll try and get through it. But I think there's some things that the team over at Need for Speed could definitely fix in order to make this more polished. The storyline is great, so um, there is that. But again, like some of the driving mechanics and um, the events and how you level up, I mean, that, that does kind of suck because I placed first in every event that I was in and still I've got to go back to those events to get more experience to level up enough to get the next tier of, of events um, on my map to even open or be competitive for me. So, I mean, Need for Speed, like, here's my thing. Need for Speed, Call of Duty, um, some of these titles that have been around for ages, and we all want to love them because we, we grew up with them. Like, I remember playing the first Need for Speed, and loving it I played Porsche Unleashed until it was it was just going out of style and I love those games but now as Heat comes out and the last one came out just I'm not really impressed it's it seems to be that it might have gone the opposite direction uh in some cases so um, thank you guys for listening. That's it for the Need for Speed review. Stay tuned tomorrow for our actual weekly news. And uh, we'll see you next week. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow and then next week. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Have a good one, guys.